Here, I've got to get on Aaron Berg's Yes. <laughs> Did you know that Aaron Berg put out a special as well? Well, it's another one. It's just like the Callan special. Aaron Berg, what was it, six months ago? Put out a comedy special uh, for pay only on his website, right? Aaron Berg, little midget comedian. Remember him from Compound Media? And we got some great Compound news coming up. Oh, yeah. So we'll show him this Aaron Berg, then we'll show him who we are. Look at this. Aaron Berg's first- comedy special. It came out 11 days ago on YouTube. It's called Aaron Berg Stands Down. Came out 11 days ago. So what should this have? About 500K, you'd think? 2.2K views. I mean, 2.2K views? As your special? That's very, very... I mean, I wouldn't. you should delete this quickly. <laughs> this could really hurt your career. So we start watching. We gotta, I gotta see... You know, maybe he just didn't do a good job promoting it. I'll promote it for him. I love Aaron Berg. Listen to this. Ladies and gentlemen, silence your phones. Wait, wait. It's Monty Python, but with a rap beat, and it goes, Ladies and gentlemen, silence your phones. I'm not kidding. This is Aaron Berg's opening song. I've never heard. Ladies and gentlemen, silence your phones. You only got me here, my tone. It's special how we all love you. Thank you, everybody. How are you? Oh, Welcome. Benny Hill, not Monte, Monty Python. Bess is like he's from one of those Instagram ads where it shows like a really nice looking coat and you go to check it out and it's like $22. <laughs> that's what he's dressed like. You ever seen that? Where you're like, that's a sharp looking coat. What brand? Oh, it's six bucks. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, it ships from China. I'll play it for a few more seconds and then I'll show you what we did here. Uh, and again, it's a, it's a question more than a bust. But what's got my eye, of course, this watch. It's huge. It's Andrew Huberman size. It is giant. I mean, really, when you... It's hard to see when I show people the close up of this watch. It really doesn't show the ginormity of it, but when he's moving around, it's really, really big and it's really like all you could focus on. I mean, that's a lot of steel. You know, that's a heavy, that's almost like some movie where you got like a big strip of gold and they can control you with it. It's like a band that they can control. It's very, uh, it's a big hunk of metal. when you pick that thing up, it's very light. Very light. And we're, we're going to show you this. Here, so I see this watch and I go, I got to know what kind of watch this is. I got to tr- figure out what he's trying to pull. You know, so I posted the bring back rib. I go, hey, anybody, can anybody idea watch for me? As if I'm putting in a call, like I'm a cop, you know, I just put in a call. <laughs> Anybody got an idea on a watch here? Sorry, yeah, the pictures are coming through right now. Thanks so much. Then I'm eating and then I get shot or something. So um, I send this around and yeah, we did get um, some answers here. Well, here we go. Uh, the um, picture, here, let me in. zoom in on his watch again. A speakeasy at any We did ID time, the watch. Governor Cuomo could have busted in here with his... Okay, here it is. So we did ID this ridiculous hunk of metal. I mean... In my mind, I'm going, you know, is this a good watch? Because a lot of fools have been doing this lately. Have you guys seen this? A lot of comedians showing their uh, big expensive Rolexes lately. You know, I saw Adam Curry. I call it a hunk of metal. When you see a guy with a watch that's a little out of his price range, I go, look at this. Did Aaron, who I know is very, very poor, Right, it's no secret. Aaron is one of our poorest comedians. He's had a really hard time making any money in this industry for many, many, many years. You see, he's got two point two thousand views. You know, so imagine what his podcast or Patreon must bring in. You know, if this is so so low for his special, you go. He's got no money, so he would have no business buying any sort of watch. That is expensive. And if this watch isn't expensive, then what right does he have to wear? A watch like this would only be even remotely acceptable 
if it was something really expensive and unique or, you know, one of those big watches everybody wears. But we pass this sucker around, and here's what this guy says. Uh, fuck, do we know the guy's name? I'll plug him after I go into my Instagram. He's a great guy. He says, this watch is an iteration of an Invicta Diver. That's I-N-V-I-C-T-A. Uh, I can't find an example with a black doll, but Invicta is the only watchmaker insane enough to design something this useless. Invicta makes several versions of this watch. For some reason, it has sub-dials and pushers because it's super important to have a complication normally reversed for tracking laps around a racetrack when you're underwater, apparently. It's about 125 bucks retail and 50 to 60 once they run it on clearance. Uh, sometimes Invicta will even uh, run a buy two, get one free. Whenever their mall kiosk needs to be liquidated, a frequent occurrence, Invicta, a favored watch of the fool, certainly. Hope this helps, he says. So here you go. And we looked it up. 125 bucks at the high yeah, end. I think I might have found a link. Yeah. I just put it at the bottom. I definitely had one. Um, okay. Yeah. We'll refresh that and we'll see. So now I need to know. And we'll show you this. You know, we really double checked. Yeah, this is it. 89 bucks, kiddo. There it is. Oh, look at this. They're hitting me with it all. Let's check this out. Yeah, here it is. Yep. Use code red. That's it. Or similar. You know, it's definitely uh, one of these, but none of them go over 100 bucks. So here it is. 89 bucks. Pro Diver Men's Watch. And uh, that's the watch. And it's so big. I wonder big. where he picked it out. Like, was he out shopping? Well, so my question is this. Did he order himself a little treat? Here's my question. Is Aaron Berg wearing this? Because, okay, if you were going to get a cheap watch, which is fine. Let's say, hey, I just need a watch for a watch. I'm going to get a cheap watch. You wouldn't get this. <laughs> you would only get this if you were trying to, like, trick people into thinking you had a big fancy watch. If you were going to get a cheap $60 watch... You just get some Timex or some watch, right? Like nobody buys a cheap, and especially if you're going to be on stage for your special. Here's the other watch thing: is trying to fool someone into thinking they got a big piece on them, a watch, big chunk of metal. So it, it just, I'm puzzled. He knows anybody, and you're wearing a giant watch. You know, it's like Flavor Flav's clock. We can see it from across the room. We're going to Google it. So it's not even like, oh, I wonder what watch that is. I guess we'll never know. It's probably worth 10K. <laughs> it's, that's not even happening because you go, what kind of, oh. $69. Buy two, get one free. Imagine buying three of the same watch. I can't figure it out. I've tried to look at it from every angle here. I love a fool's watch. If you've ever got a fool's watch, send them on over to us. We'll have them uh, ID'd. And verified, and we'll go down the rap. Here's what's even better. If that was a $10,000 watch, that's even worse.